Hi, I'm Bonnie Barker with BonnieBayCrochet.com, and you've come to the Friends Around the World 3 2018 Crochet Along, and this is square number 7. This is by Petrina Hollis, and it's called Te Puno Ayo. Let's take a look at the square before we get started. Now you can use any number of colors, or you could just use a solid color uh, for this square. It's really up to you. You can change the colors as many or as few as you'd like and use whatever colors you would like. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be using primarily Red Heart Super Saver, and I'm supplementing with another brand, but it is 100% um, acrylic. I'm going to be using white, um, brown, and blue. And I'm also going to be using my size H, just like we've done before, which is a 5.00 millimeter crochet hook. I'm also recommending that you have a yarn needle handy, especially if you're going to make your square multicolored, and a pair of scissors. As in the other videos, I'm encouraging you to please go ahead and print out a copy of this. It is free. Just look at the links in the video description below. Um, you'll also find the link to the blog for this um, friends around the world crochet along and you'll also find a link to the Facebook page where you can post your finished items or maybe even look at the colors that others are choosing who are following this um, people really from all around the world the square begins with an invisible join so let's go ahead and take our yarn and the way I do this is I wrap my fingers twice again if you have your own way of doing this feel free to do that Go ahead and reach your hook under and we're pulling the long strand that's actually attached to our yarn source and we're going to make a chain one now i'm going to work the these stitches going into the center here and let's see the the pattern says that we are going to work one half double crochet so let's go ahead and do that one half double crochet and then a chain one and we're going to do that 12 times so that's two three i'm going to go ahead and do this 12 times that's working the half double crochet with the chain one in between now that i have 12 of these in the circle i'm going to go ahead and go ahead and pull up that loop so that stitch doesn't come out and I'm going to try closing this circle if I put my fingers inside the circle sometimes it makes it easier on the strings now we're going to pull this a little tighter but not too terribly tight okay okay that's that's probably good right about like that the directions um, at the beginning of this say to end with a slip stitch to the first stitch so we're going to go ahead and do that with a slip stitch you can also use an invisible join if you'd like I'm actually going to just use the slip stitch because I find that a little bit faster a little bit easier for me especially since these rounds are going to be covered with other stitching so you're really not going to see these um, enclosure points for the most part so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to keep the same color for round two if you wanted to change colors that's up to you the instructions say to change color as often or as little as you like so it's wide open for you there okay so the next round after we've slip stitched to that first space we're going to make one popcorn stitch in the chain one space to make our first popcorn we're going to chain three and this chain three does count as a double crochet in this popcorn so now we're going to work in the chain one space we're going to work three more double crochets after we work those three double crochets we're going to pull up a loop we're actually going to go into the first stitch and i'm going to grab i guess the stitch here in the chain and we're going to put that loop back on our hook and then pull through and then after we do that we are going to chain three one two three we're going to skip the next stitch 
and we're going to work in the next chain one space we're going to make another popcorn but since it's not the starting popcorn this is the way the rest of them are going to work you're going to make four double crochets in that same space pull up a loop and then go ahead insert your hook into that first double crochet of that cluster and then hook the yarn loop over the hook and go ahead and pull it through and then we're going to chain three more one two three and on to the next skip the next stitch working in that next chain one space four double crochets for the next popcorn pull up the loop insert hook into that first stitch and hook put that loop over the hook and pull through and then chain three again one two three and go ahead and work that all the way around until you have 12 popcorn stitches at the end of this round I'm going to join with a slip stitch to the first stitch of the round and you should have 12 popcorns around in your circle all right, I think I'm going to um, change my color. So I'm going to actually fasten off and hide my loose end. And then I will start with my next color. For those of you who are new to this and this is your first uh, video in this series, I just wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how to hide these loose ends. And what I would normally do is just thread my um, yarn needle and you can go around under the other loops of the stitches just as easily as this make sure you do this from the back side so we want to make sure that we don't have any of these loose ends showing on the front side and then after you've done that go ahead and clip very carefully make sure that you clip this strand without clipping your work okay so I got one more to hide and then I'll be ready to start round number three okay now I'm going to start round number three I'm going to be using my brown color and I'm going to go ahead and make my slip knot and you can join to any of the chain three spaces around I'm going to go ahead and chain three and that is going to count as a double crochet in what I'm going to do here with the corners okay I'm going to make two more double crochets then I'm going to chain two and then three double crochets one two three and you notice that I did crochet over this strand right here and since I'm done with this I'm going to go ahead and give it a clip so I don't have to hide that again or look at it anymore okay so after we've done that now we're going to, in the next chain three space we're going to work three half double crochets one two three and we're going to do that two times in the next we're going to work three half double crochets two three Okay, now it says to repeat that two times. We've done that. And then go back to the asterisk and repeat three times. That will give us our four corners. And so in the next chain three space, we're going to go back to forming a corner, which is going to be three double crochets. Let's not get our double crochets and our half double crochets mixed up, okay? I know that's easy to do once that muscle memory kicks in, but we have to... Uh, keep them straight so the corners are using those double crochets so three double crochets chain two three double crochets and then the next two chain threes we're going to work whoops there I go see how easy it is to do we're going back to half double crochets now one two three on the half double crochet that's that shorter stitch and then three half double crochets and that next chain three let's stop and see what we have here look how nicely that that corner 
that square is starting to form. Now, after working those two sets of those three half double crochets, it's time to form another corner. And so we're back to working with double crochets. Go ahead and work three double crochets, a chain two, one, two, and then three more double crochets. So go ahead and repeat that the rest of the way around the square. At the end of this round, I'm going to join with a slip stitch to the top of that chain three. Now I'm going to maintain the same color going into round four. And there is a, a, a note um, by the author of this square that says if you're not changing color, just slip stitch to the corner chain space each time and then work the corner stitches followed by the side stitches all around. This pattern is written uh, in a more simplistic way, which has, um, let me go ahead and let you, let you look at this a second. She has the corners listed and then the description of what you should have on the sides. Okay. And then you have the final stitch count over here, which is, it's a different way of doing it, but it's, it's very practical too. So for the next, um, round, we're going to have one DC chain two, one DC in all the corners. And that's very clear and then one double crochet in each of the next 12 stitches. So we're simply going to be working double crochets all the way around. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to keep the color the same for this next round. So I'm just going to go ahead and slip stitch my way to the corner like this. Now, obviously, I'm going to need a chain. So the chain three it's going to be my double crochet and then I'll chain two more for my chain two and that will form the corner and then one more double crochet um, because for these corners it's just one double crochet chain two one double crochet now we're going to double crochet in each stitch across we should have 12 all the way across so go ahead and do those next 12 double crochets when we get to the corner we're going to Again, work the double crochet, chain two, and a double crochet for the corner. So go ahead and continue that, that all the way around. At the end of this round, I'm going to join with a slip stitch to the top, actually the third chain of that turning chain, which actually works as a double crochet in that turning corner. Okay, I'm going to fasten off because I'm going to be changing my yarn color for the next round. And I'm also going to go ahead and hide my loose ends. For round five, I'm going to be using my light blue yarn. And for each of the corners, we're going to make two half double crochets, a chain two, two half double crochets. And we're going to be working back post half double crochets into the stitches across the row. So let's go ahead and I'll start this with, um, I'm going to go ahead and do a standing half double crochet for that first stitch. And we're going to do two of those. Again, joining in any corner around. Chain two. And then two more of these half double crochets. Um, I'm going to actually, since this stitch is pretty well hidden now, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of housework here and clean that up so I don't have to worry with it. Now the directions do say to skip the first stitch. Now we're going to do half, I'm sorry, back post half double crochets into the next 13 stitches. So that's one. For those of you who've never done a half back post half double crochet, you just wrap the hook like you're getting ready for your stitch. Bring the hook around from the back side, around the front, and then back out the back side again. It's kind of like giving it a belt. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all of the strands on the hook, and that's all there is to that. I'll do it again real slow. Yarn over, come in from the back side. Your hook's going to go all the way around the hook, out the back door, pull up a loop carefully, yarn over, pull through all three loops on the hook. So go ahead and do that across until you get to the next corner. So I've got all the way across and do make sure that you have 13 stitches. You do work 
the last stitch, but as a reminder, you don't work the front stitch. Okay, now we get to the corner, we work two half double crochets, chain two, and then two more half double crochets into that chain two space. And then we're going to do that all the way around. I'll just get the next side started. Remember, we skip that first stitch. Then we come around the back door for that back post half double crochet on the next stitch. So go ahead and work this all the way around. At the end of this round, I'm going to join with a slip stitch to that first half double crochet of the round. And then I'm going to fasten off and hide my loose strand. This is what we have at the end of five rounds. Okay, you can join in any chain two corner. And I'm going to go ahead and make my slip knot so I can go ahead and make a standing double crochet. And each corner is going to have one double crochet, chain three and one double crochet. That is a little bit different. So make sure that you're chaining three in those corners instead of two. So we keep following these directions. Okay, now that we have finished our corner, we're going to work something called a cross stitch. It's going to be worked in through the top loops of the stitches from round five. We're going to skip the hidden stitch at the beginning of each side as we go across. Then we're going to skip the next stitch and in the next stitch we're going to work a double crochet and now working in front of that double crochet we're going to work in this skipped stitch. So go ahead, it's a little tricky, insert your hook and go ahead and put that double crochet in the next stitch just like that. And we're going to do that all the way across. We're going to skip the next stitch. Now be careful that you don't think this is the next stitch. Actually, this is the next stitch. So we're going to skip this stitch and then work in the one right beside it at the double crochet. And then going back, working in front of that stitch, we're going to work a double crochet in the stitch here that we just skipped. So you get this um, crossing effect. Okay, I'll do this one more time. Skip the next stitch and then double crochet in the stitch right next to that. Working in front of that stitch, go ahead and double crochet in that stitch right in front. And as you saw that, I'll do it one more time. Skip the next stitch, double crochet, next stitch. Sometimes it's easy to just go in and then pull that those loops out like that so that you know that you are going to be working in those in those loops. Okay, so go ahead and work that all the way across the side. So I've finished working across the side and you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight total of those. Now you get to the corner and again we're going to work a double crochet, chain three, one, two, three, and then a double crochet in that corner. And you can go ahead and repeat that all the way around actually, but I'm going to show you how to start this side one more time. This is the hidden stitch that we're not going to use. We're going to skip the next stitch and then we double crochet in the one right next to that. So it's actually three stitches over to start this. And then working in front of that stitch, we're going to double crochet in the, in the second of the stitches. If I can get that, there we go, that were skipped. Okay, so go ahead and work that all the way around. At the end of this round, we draw with a slip stitch to that first double crochet of the round. And I'm going to go ahead and fasten off because I'm going to be changing colors. Now, just as a reminder that if you are making this all one solid color, you can just simply slip stitch to the next chain two or chain three corner and just continue on. I'm going to go ahead now. Let's take a look at our square. I'm going to go ahead and hide these loose ends. For round number seven, I'm going to use my brown color again 
and I'm going to start with a standing half double crochet in, in the chain two corner. I'm going to actually do two half double crochets. One, two, and then we're going to do a chain two, one, two, and then two more half double crochets. I am also going to go ahead and trim off this strand since I've already crocheted four stitches over it. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. And we're going to skip our first stitch and then of each side as we go across. And we're going to half double crochet in each of the next 17 stitches all the way across. So that's what this repeat looks like. Two half double crochets, chain two, two half double crochets, and then one half double crochet after we've skipped this stitch, one half double crochet in each of the next 17 stitches. Now I'm ready to end this round. I'm going to work a slip stitch to the first stitch of the round, and I'm going to go ahead and keep this color for the next round. So I'm going to slip stitch my way into the next stitch and then another slip stitch into that chain two corner. And now I'm going to chain three for the first double crochet of that corner for round eight. Then I'm going to chain three more and that, that is going to be the corner and then another double crochet. Okay, so just briefly again, three chains here represent the double crochet and then three more chains for that corner and then a double crochet. Now as we work us across each side of the square in round eight, we're going to chain one, we're going to skip the next, the first stitch or the next stitch and then double crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next stitch. We're going to do that ten times across the side. After repeating that 10 times across, we should have, we're going to chain one, we're going to skip the last stitch, and then we'll go ahead and work our corner, which will be a double crochet, chain three, and then another double crochet. So I'll start you on the next side. We're going to chain one, skip the first stitch, and double crochet in that next stitch. And again, chain one, skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next, and go ahead and work that all the way across and actually around the rest of the square. This round ends by joining with a slip stitch, and I'm going to be putting this in my chain. Now, if you if you worked a you know a, a double crochet, then it'd be the top of your double crochet. Do a slip stitch and I'm going to go ahead and fasten off because I'm going to be switching back to my light blue color for round number nine. And I'm going to go ahead and hide my loose threads. And this is what I have so far. Because of the way these corners are worked for round number nine, I'm going to go ahead and start in the first, um, the first stitch of the side, which happens to also be one of the corner stitches. I'm going to go ahead and working up through the, let's go ahead and try this again. Put our hook in. I'm going to be making a standing half double crochet right here in that stitch. Um, now for the next stitch, we're actually going to be working a treble crochet in the stitch below, the stitch the first stitch that was skipped right down here. So we're going to go ahead and make a treble crochet there and then a half double crochet in that next stitch and then a treble crochet again going down. I believe that's row number seven. And, and make sure that you do keep this chain behind the stitch just like that. So go ahead and work that all the way across until you get to the first corner and then I will show you how to work that. As you've worked across you should have 11 
of the half double crochets followed by the trebles and then after the 11 sets you should have a half double crochet in that last stitch which brings us to the corner and in the corner we're going to work now as we get to the corner we're going to work a treble in this in this space and then a half double crochet up in the chain two above where we are working chain two another half double crochet up on that current row and then a treble down below here in that chain two space back on round seven okay so we get this effect all right now we're back to working a half double crochet in that first stitch and then a treble crochet uh, if we can get that there we go treble crochet and that stitch down on row seven half double crochet and then a treble crochet on that stitch down below so go ahead and work that all the way around now that we come to the last corner we go ahead and work the treble crochet a half double crochet I remember the treble is worked back back on this row or round rather and then the half double on the current round chain two another half double crochet and then another treble down there on round number seven chain two corner and then we're going to join with the slip stitch that first stitch of the round and I'm going to go ahead and fasten off because I'm changing to a different color. So I'll go ahead and fasten this round off and I'm going to hide my loose ends. And let's go ahead and take a look at what we have so far. I'm really enjoying this square too. This is really, really a lot of fun. A lot of good eye candy as they say. Okay, let's go ahead, hide those loose strands and then go on to round number 10. For round number 10, I'm going to be going back to my white color. I'm going to go ahead and get my slip knot ready and join to any chain two corner of the round. And for these corners we're going to have one half double crochet, chain two, one half double crochet. So I'm going to go ahead and get my standing half double crochet, chain two, and then another half double crochet so that we have our corner ready. Now this is the repeat that we're going to work all the way across. We're going to have a one front post double crochet. We're going to work that right around that half double. Okay. And then after that, we're going to work a half double crochet in that treble crochet. So for that next stitch, we're going to work a front post double crochet. Now that was around the join there, but see how nicely this stitch kind of hides that join. And then a half double crochet. Front post stitch around the next. Let's try that again. I'm having a hard time for some reason. Okay, front post and then half double crochet through the top loops. Front post. Let me try that one again. Front post, double crochet. Make sure I get it around the right part of the stitch. And then a half double crochet. Front post, double crochet. And then a half double crochet. So go ahead and work that all across to the next corner. So as we've worked across, we should have this repeat of the front post double crochet and then the half double crochet there should be 13 repeats of that plus an additional front post double crochet and then again in the corners we're working a half double crochet chain two and a half double crochet so we'll, let's go ahead and work that all the way around and I'll start you off again uh, for this first half double crochet we do a front post double and then we do a half double crochet alternating that all the way across so go ahead and and actually go ahead and work this all the way around your square this round ends with a slip stitch 
to the first stitch of the round and I'm going to go ahead and fasten off because I'm going to be changing my yarn colors once again. So we're going to go ahead and let's take a look. This is after 10 rounds. I'm going to go ahead and fasten all, actually I'm hide these loose ends and then we're going to start the next round. For round number 11 I'm returning back to my brown color and we're going to go and get my slip knot ready. And in each corner we're going to work two double crochets, chain two and two double crochets. So I'm going to make one double crochet, this chain three, and there's another double crochet, and then chain two, and then we're going to do another double crochet, another double crochet. Okay, now along the edges we're going to work one double crochet. We're going to skip the first stitch, but then we're going to work one double crochet in each of the next stitches, and you're going to should you should have about 28 or exactly 28 stitches across until you get to the next corner. So let's go ahead and work those 28 double crochets. After working the 28 double crochets across, go ahead and work the corner again, and that's going to be two double crochets, followed by a chain two, and then two more double crochets. And that's going to be um, the repeat all the way around this, this square for this round. So you're going to have 28 double crochets, and then the corners, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. So go ahead and work that all the way around. This round ends with a slip stitch to the top of that first stitch and I'm going to go ahead and fasten off because I'm going to be using a different color yarn for the next round. We're also going to go ahead and hide the loose ends before I begin the next round. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we have. Okay, really like the colors coming out there. For round number 12, I'm going to start with my light blue color. I've already got my slip knot, and we're going to make a double crochet, chain three, double crochet in the corner. So I'm going to go ahead and work my chain three for that first double crochet, and then chain three again for the actual turning chain or chain in the corner. And then I'm going to put another double crochet for the the, um, the corner section here. And then we're going to work what we did before. We're going to skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next stitch, and working in front of that stitch, we're going to work a double crochet in that skipped stitch. Just like that, all the way across. You should have 16 of these when we reach the next corner. I'll do a couple more with you. Skip the next stitch, double crochet in that next stitch. Working in front of that stitch, go ahead and work a double crochet in the top of that stitch that we just skipped. So go ahead and work that all the way across and I'll show you the corner before going forward. Once you get to the corner, it's going to be a double crochet, chain three, and then a double crochet in that corner, just like so. And then just continue working those cross stitches all the way across. Go ahead and finish that all the way around. At the end of this round, I'm just going to join with a slip stitch, in my case, to the top of that chain three, which acts as my double crochet. And I'm going to continue on with the same yarn for round number 13. So I'm not going to fasten off. If you want to change the color, you can. To begin round 13, I'm going to just go ahead and slip stitch into the next chain two space since I'm not going to be changing my color. And I'm going to chain one and then do a standing half double crochet and then another half double crochet because we're going to be working two half double crochets, chain two, and then two half double crochets for those um, corners 
of the square. So I'll go ahead and give you a look at the corner there. Two half double crochet, chain two, two half double crochet. And we are simply going to work half double crochets all the way across. Um, so by the time you go across, starting with this half double crochet, you should have 34 stitches across. And then if you add these two, that would be 36. And then if you add these corner on the other side, that will be 38. So you'll have, including the corners, you'll have 38 stitches across on every side. So go ahead and finish that round. Round 13 ends with a slip stitch to the first stitch of the round. I'm going to go ahead and give it a chain, fasten off, and I'm going to hide my loose strand. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we have so far. Now we've completed um, the design of this square, but we still need to do the final three rounds. So I'm going to go ahead and hide my loose ends, and then we'll start the three final rounds with the color that we're going to use to join all of these squares together. The last three rounds are going to be using set A um, rounds, rounds one, two, and three, and I'll just step you through each of them as we go. We begin by working a slip knot, and we're going to join, let's go ahead and get that on the hook, we're going to join to any corner of the round, and we're going to work two single crochets, chain two, and two more single crochets. Now we're going to work a single crochet in the next 38 stitches. Make sure that you start with that first single crochet of the round. Let's get all the strands this time. Let's try that one more time. There we go. So make sure you start with the first single crochet and single crochet in each stitch all the way across. There should be 38 of these individual stitches that you're working the single crochets in. So go ahead and do that to the next corner. So I did get 38 stitches to the next corner and then we get to the next corner. We work two single crochets, chain two, and then two more single crochets. Whoops. And then after that we're back to a single crochet in each stitch. Don't forget that first stitch there. It's kind of hidden. Otherwise you would accidentally crochet over that. So go ahead and work this all the way around. At the end of the first base round or finishing round, go ahead and join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet of the round. Now you can fasten off and rejoin or you can do what I'm doing. I'm going to just slip stitch in the next stitch and slip stitch to that chain two space so that I can do round two. I'm going to go ahead and chain one and I'm going to single crochet chain two, single crochet. Notice that I'm just doing one single crochet in each um, single crochet, chain two, single crochet for that corner instead of doing two single crochets. Now we're going to do single crochet in each stitch across. Make sure that you don't forget those two single crochets that were in the corner. Okay, so go ahead and finish that all the way around. You should have at the end of this round um, each side should have 44 single crochets on each side, then you have the four chain two corners. This round ends with a slip stitch to the first stitch of the round. And I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch again to that chain two space so that I can begin round number three. I'm going to go ahead and chain one. I'm going to work two single crochets chain two, and then two more single crochets into that very first corner and actually into every corner. And make sure you pull that back so that you don't miss any stitches. You're going to single crochet in each stitch all the way around from corner to corner and that's including the two corner stitches here and the two corner stitches at the other end. You should have a total of 48 stitches per round. At the end of this round, join with a slip stitch to the first stitch of the round and go ahead and fasten off. 
and go ahead and hide those loose ends. And that completes the seventh square. And if you like this project and some of the others, I just asked that if you would just go ahead and hit that little subscribe button on my channel so that you don't miss any more of the new content that I have coming your way. God bless. Bye-bye.